Hello everyone, I'm Lori from Lesson Picks. I am making a quick video to show you our symbol builder and how you can make symbols immediately to meet your needs. We have a lot of image requests. As you know, we get people requesting all the time right here where it says request a picture and we love hearing from you. It is ideas like yours that make Lesson Picks better for everyone. So keep requesting those images and those template requests. In fact, we have a lot of requests that can be easily made in the Symbol Builder. Let's look at an example. Um, let's see, I have, one, I have one member who requested an individual saying no, no in a speech bubble. This is a good one that we can do in the Symbol Builder. Here we are. Uh, I'm going to go to the Symbol Builder right here and click on that. And the request was for an individual. This person wants a girl. So I'll type in girl. Here we go. We'll scroll down and pick a lovely girl right here. Drop her in, stretch her, but leave room for a speech bubble next to her. The speech bubbles, they're right here in the common symbols. This is a great shortcut to get the symbols you need. Here we go. Speech bubble. All right, so far so good. I can expand the speech bubble, make it grow and shrink, and it keeps the ratio. But I have all this room up here, so what I'm going to do is click this stretch button, make sure this is selected again, and grow it up this way to give room for that no-no verbiage. Here we go. The next thing I want is the text. So I'm going to head over to the text tab, and I will write in the word no, no. Comic Sans, I think I'll do it in kind of a blue. Add text, no, no, that looks about the right size even. I can grow or shrink it just like any other image, but I like it the way it is. Stretch is still on, so it will change ratios to be skinny or wide. Um, and that works. Now, I, th I think I'm gonna get fancy here. I could say this is done, this is exactly what we needed, but I want to put like a finger saying no, no. So let's go over to search, and this is sort of a number one. So let's do one. Number one. We're going to turn off that stretch and keep that ratio. And I think this is backwards, the finger is closer to my face, so... Let's, let's take this, flip it side to side. She's going to say, no, no. And let me add a rectangle. How about a purple rectangle? Let's put a space in there. There we go. Bring over a purple rectangle. Turn it 90 degrees. I can do that stretch button again. There we go. That works. Yeah, I think that works. There we go. And let's write our title. No, no. And create symbol. How easy was that? No, no. Drag it over, it's ready to use. Let's see if we can make another one. Let me look. Another request is a backpack on a table. All right, let's go back up to our symbol builder. Here we go. I'm going to look for a backpack. Hmm, pretty basic one. Let's do one with a water bottle. There we go. And then we want to set that, I'm going to shrink that a little bit and put it on a table. Now these buttons over here do layering. So what I want to do is send this table behind the backpack. So this one shows it being moved to the bottom. Let's do that. There we go. Backpack sitting on a table. Let's write that text. and create our symbol. 
Easy peasy. Love it. The other thing to show you while I'm here is let's say I want this backpack but in a little bit different color. I think I'm going to come down here. There's a lot of colors. You can see all the reds right in this backpack. So if I use this slider and slide them over, I can grab all these reds and turn them into, let's say, a green backpack. Let's go. Swap colors. And there we go. Green backpack. Save custom symbol and drag that right over into the tray. So I hope that helped. Very easy. Symbol Builder. Good luck. Have fun. See you later. Bye.